What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to Painting Snippets, the series where we focus on one thing for half an hour, painting. And obviously, as you know, we're focusing on um, Imperial Fists. I'm going to be working on the chain swords today. I've decided. So I've got my uh, paints ready for that. The ones I already have painted up were, uh, instead of doing the, the teeth in the metal, I'm doing the, the casing metal and the teeth black because that's just going to denote their particular, um, you know, their chainsaw. That, that's, at least that's the way I feel about it and that's the way I want it done on them. Because uh, I do it the other way around on all the other. So let's, Let's move camera down a bit here. Pop my glasses on. I've got, hey, I've got Ladana Lysander there to do as well. And I, I'll just paint him as I want, really. Oh, I've got shield as well to do. Yeah, I do have his shield. So I've got his shield there. Um. I'm just going to grab a sepia wash um, actually I might use a I could use a Drakenhof nightshade wash but no I think I'll do I could use glimmer blue glaze I wish they still did that it's, it's a really nice glaze that Citadel did good glazes didn't they oh, I think they did anyway Fernian camera shade seraphim sepia. There we go. So using a sepia wash, which I might use over gold. Might do. <laughs> right. Okay. But for now, we are concentrating on. Uh, the casings first, I think, yeah. Let's do the casings first, because a lot of them, and some of the guns will have parts that need, um, um, you know, metal bits on. I've got to find my other one of these pallets as well for the other side here. But I'm making do at the moment. That's a couple of blobs of that. My metallic spot is over here. A bit more. Oh, nearly go dipping it in there. By accident, of course. Alright, okay. Right. And I think I'll use this size, what is it, size zero, Art Master Miniature Series. We'll look at Dana Lysander first, shall we? Hmm. Let's, uh, all right. I will use it on his hammer. So guys, so how's your week's been going? You know, I always like to hear what you've been working on, but I also want to know if you're having a good week or not, you know, how your week's going. Is it, has it been all you wanted it to be? Yeah. Because I, I like hearing people that are having a, um, an okay time and a good time and are happy. Right. My goodness. Oh, I've got to get Lysander's face done as well, I just realised. That's okay, we'll get his um, <laughs> Warhammer <laughs> done first, so to speak. Hmm. 
yeah the book i was uh, oh, oh, i was gonna say the book i was talking about earlier but i wasn't was i was a different video i bought this book and i know i'm i'm not talking about hobby at the moment but basically i bought this book on seaton where i want to live and it's kind of loosely hobby related because that's where the next iteration of Mini Warzone is going to be, in somewhere in Seaton, you know. Because if we move, it's going to be there. And that's what all the, you know, the boxes is for and, you know, getting things sorted. Um, yeah, so it'll be a... I'm going to be doing an inventory as well of all my stuff. It's going to be a mammoth task, you know. But I've done, as you know, I've worked on bigger spreadsheets, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Might do his hand or his hand black on that one. Yes, yeah, so I probably will leave that. I'll do these kind of whose things here lead belcher however yeah so i'm two weeks into a five week wait for payday <laughs> um so i've survived week two Hopefully I can survive week three. Then I'll be more stable, obviously, um, playing catch up. But uh, I think by my third payday, I will be up and running as, as I intend to be on my budget. You know, I'll have finished, you know, playing catch up and all that sort of stuff. So that's good. Um, so mini war zone and the, the future of, which will be in seated, of course, um, I will be looking for a larger mini war zone or a mini war zone spread over two areas, which will encompass a larger area all told. So I don't necessarily need a big area for painting, do I really? Yeah, free paint stations, you know, I could do that in a small room. But um, a gaming table, that's where, that's where your space goes, isn't it? And I'm, uh, given that I'm actually on a painting table now, not a painting table, a gaming table now. I'm painting on a gaming table, so. Yeah, probably right, so it should have a gaming board on it. <laughs> Got a bit of that belch on Chappie's head there, so it's all rectified now. Yeah, and of course I want, I'm, I'm wanting to do some d and I've got everything I need for D&D &D now. Just need the time to create and prep some characters. And then I'll need some time to write out the scenarios. There's going to be... It's going to be random stuff, but um, also following a campaign as well. And if you get the um, book, How to GM Yourself, you will see that it's not as hard as you first think. Do the vents in his, sort of the, the grill and sort of back of his armor here. Mark whatever armor it is he's wearing, Terminator armor by the looks of things. <laughs> Does look really good though, it's really good. Darn enough. 
Lysander. Yeah, I do hope we get a Primaris uh, version of him. I think he's integral in a lot of people's uh, campaigns and armies, you know. Right. Now I think for now that might be enough. Might be. All I want to do is uh, lens finger bobbers here. Yeah, I was. Uh, Thinking about uh, when I move to season, what my hobby, uh, my nearest hobby shop will be. I don't actually know. I've got, there is a nerdy shop there. I can get stuff like vintage um, video games, and I can get D and some D and D stuff. Um, but yeah, you know, your friendly local gaming store, your average. One, you know, I don't know where that would be for me. Possibly Exeter. But then Exeter it would be my nearest um, GW too, so that's cool. I don't mind Exeter, I quite like visiting Exeter. Would not want to live in Exeter, but I do like visiting Exeter. I'm just trying to do all the bits that might possibly be... Silver in look. Lysander. You know all this talk about gladiatorial arenas and my um role playing and stuff. Makes me want to go and watch Spartacus again. I do like that series. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, looking all right there. It's got a bit of an augmentation thing going on over here. A bit of a Cyberman ear plug thing. That's cool. There you go. As long as you're careful. Now I think that's that's gonna be it for silver on him. On him. Yeah, I say on him. Um, right, next. Uh, classic sword, power sword. Oh, well, we'll do that. I like the idea of power swords, they're kind of cool. Oh, they're like one step down from a lightsaber, aren't they, really? <laughs> power sword. So there's his power sword. We'll work out what colour I want to do these shields. I really have. Hmm. Let's go around and do... Oh, his vents. I have a feeling, a sneaking feeling I'll sleep better tonight though, without worrying about stuff and knowing I've got some more awesome hobby to do over the weekend. Love hobbies, just love it. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty snaz. I'm pretty impressed with that. Oh, 
Oh, I've got Young Gun. I, I ordered a, I ordered and it arrived the other day. Young Guns 2 on DVD. Do you remember that film? My daughter wants to watch those movies. I only, only had the first one. I've seen them both, but... Uh, Yeah, it's good. Okay. Anything I'm unsure of what to do at the moment, I will just leave. So I'll leave him for now. Aha, uh -huh. we have a guy with... A gun or oh, nice detail on the gun. I like that. Oh my I just suddenly fought and I haven't given it any thought because the week just goes by so quickly. Um my friend came down the other week and we had a good good old chat out here. I might have talked about it on one of my videos, but uh, he said he said he was going back when I thought, Oh he'll be back now in Liverpool. I gave it no thought. I haven't heard from him, but I uh, presume everything was went smoothly getting back and all that. Yeah, I just no, I just wonder. He doesn't normally say, "Oh, I'm home" or anything. It's just uh, I just thought about that. I thought, "Oh, yeah, he's gonna go back on the Wednesday, and it's now Friday, so he's obviously home." He he's into Zombicide, the second edition, quite heavily. It's what got him back into miniature paint now and, and I did convince him to get a Imperial Knight and paint it so he's gonna do that. His other half, she is really into painting miniatures, she loves it. So she's gonna be in for a treat when she gets the Imperial Knight. She's very artistic, you see, and she likes that kind of thing. This dude's got a gun. Big gun. Big gun. Makes the muzzle around the barrel look really cool. Just painting the lead belcher on. It's a great colour lead belcher, isn't it? I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow when we're going out anywhere, shopping or anything. I've got to order ordinary shopping. But I don't know if there's anywhere I can, we can go hobby related. Hobby craft, I might go there if we're going anywhere. Right, so that muzzle's now looking pretty cool, pretty snazzy. And two minds wanted to try and drill the barrels out. I, I, I stopped drilling barrels ooh, a long time ago when I realised oh, I'm not that good at it. I mean, I can drill them out, but unless it's perfectly centred, I'm not really a fan. And it was always better just to paint the barrels. Um, which is harmless because you can always um, drill them out after the fact, can't you? So I'll probably paint them in this on this iteration. But um, I can always go in later. here I'm going to paint too. I don't know what we're going to have for tea tonight. That thought just suddenly popped into my head. Oh, I don't know. I bet we end up with pizza or something. <laughs> Yeah. 
really enjoyed our walk around the valley yesterday with the nice weather. We're going to have to be doing more of that. Can't get around there with uh, Rufus so much these days. It takes him out of him, takes it out of him too much. He's a bit too old for it now. He just likes to go down by the copse of trees. That's about his limit, but um, sometimes it's good to get in the fresh air, isn't it? And just wander around outside in the sun, hug a few trees, <laughs> breathe in nature, it's all good. Yeah, so we might end up going to a hobby craft tomorrow. I don't know. They got some Tamiya and FX kits, or Tamiya kits at least, I think. Um, kits you can build. You might see something else. I think I got some barrels there once, which would be good for bolt action. There might be some good bolt action um, potential there. I don't know. Painting another hose. Wow. It's amazing. You turn your model all around, and you see different angle where you've missed a bit. It's like, oh. And I'm just doing another, uh, there's a hose on the other side, on the opposite side. Ooh. Just want to get this hose done and I can relax a bit. <laughs> just bear with me. That one's good to go. Got another one. I've got another part of this gun I want to paint here. This inner working here, whatever that is. I want to paint that. I can see why some people paint things separately I I still think you know it's a bit of a trade-off really uh, I still think I prefer painting fully built miniatures just the way I am uh, okay Okay. Right. We have another power sword. You know, when these Primaris Marines first came out, I was... I was a bit dubious, I'll be honest. I do think, though, that they are the size normal Space Marines should have been to begin with. Maybe that was their thinking too. I don't think their creation was purely, let's just make some more money. Obviously they want to make money, and that's good that they make money, but um, I don't think that was the reason. For it. I think the reason for it was that... Um, Ultimately, they wanted them to be bigger. 
I notice there's been a like, size creep over the years with various things. Oh, there's bound to be, by the way, there's bound to be things on this that I, I miss. Oh, 29 minutes. Wow, didn't even get the back row done. But this is painting snippets, the half hour, the half hour show. So here we go. If you want longer ones, go to on the bench. <laughs> right, so glasses off. Let's zoom right out. Oh, we are zoomed right out. Ha ha! Come back to me. There we are. Thank you so much. Just gonna let my brush dry now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I got five Marines done, including Lysander, on the Lead Belcher stage. But but you know, thank you. I I really do uh, appreciate your viewership. I didn't get the whole of the back row done there. I will go and do the next one after, and I might progress just to get these moving a bit more. But thank you for watching. Um, do check out Patreon if, if you want, because there's going to be, I mean, there is going to be a new series. I think the playlist is already created. Uh, it's going to be called Painting Repeat, and that is going to be an hour long on Patreon. And there will probably be another one another playlist that's going to be an hour and a half so you'll get an hour and a half painting without on the benches is still at an hour of course or thereabouts i can't do it exact because of editing the video so it depends how many gaps in talking there are i think i can get away with and all that kind of stuff but yeah do give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down and if you do like it please share it on any platform you can I'm not on Facebook, so if you could share any of my videos on there, that would be greatly appreciated. Really, really would. I'm on Twitter, though. You can check me out there. Please hit me up on Twitter, Instagram. I'm not a big Instagram user, so forgive me if I do, if you leave a message or something, and it takes me ages to get back to you. I'm not the best user of Instagram. I'm okay with Twitter, but um, and, I, and I check that on a daily basis, so... Yeah, hit me up there if you like. It'd be nice to have you as a follower, and I can follow you back. Um, we can build our followers up on Twitter. That would be cool. See you out there. Bye for now. Remember, all brushes lead to war. Bye-bye.